Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here today with um, maybe a, a viewer request ephemera piece showing how to make that. And I have some happy mail to catch up on. I have some Etsy news of sales. So that, and then I also wanted to show you the covers that we made from the fabric paper. So just a lot of, a lot of little cleanup items today. <laughs> so first of all, I wanted to start with Etsy, Etsy stores. Um, Crystal at Home Book and Treasure sent me these wonderful little Christmas journal cards. And she is offering a 15% off coupon for my viewers. And I wanted to tell you about that. It is all capitals, GAIL15. And it's G-A-Y-L-E-15. So um, for 15% off at Home Book and Treasure, you can go over and, and enter that coupon code at checkout. So these are the cute little um, journal cards, but they're the shape of a file folder, which is super fun. I love these little birds. And, um, and then there's this one, little Victorian ladies. And this one, aren't they so cute? Love this one with the animals. And then this one with some cute little foxes and this little and this little girl. So anyway, Crystal, Home Book and Treasure, 15% off with the coupon code, code GAIL, G-A-Y-L-E 15. So I wanted to tell you about that. And then I have a little uh, news about my friend Mary Peterson, who has three insistent dogs on, um, on Etsy. Oh, poor Mary. She's, she's having, um, she's one of her dogs is kind of at the end of its life and she only has a few months left with them. So, um, so keep them in your prayers for that. Definitely. Um, because of that, Mary is going to close her shop October 15th until the beginning of next year. So um, until then, she has 10% off on her um, in her shop until October 14th. She isn't taking any special orders or making anything new or anything. She's just going to um, offer 10% off. I just went over there and got some more of her lovely papers and... Um, and uh, dyed file folders and stuff. So she's got some great stuff in her shop. She's got some journals, you know. So um, I hope you'll go over and support Mary. And um, yeah, 10% off until October 14th. And then she's going to close her shop for a little bit. Um, just to spend time with her dog. So that's that's my news from Mary. And um I'll I'll be watching to see when she reopens or maybe she'll let me know um after the first of the year. So Mary, my prayers are with you. Oh, and your sweet puppy. So um yeah, so there's that too. So that's the kind of the Etsy news. I'll have their links in the description box below as always. Oh, I just got going. I forgot to say hi and hugs to everybody. So hi and hugs to Barbara, Penny, Mimi, Nikki, and Carol, and Crystal and Mary as well. Um, and th these are the ladies that sent some happy mail. So we're just going to take a look. I, I've just kind of been stacking it up. It's been three days since I did a video because my family was here. So this one is from Barbara. And um, Barbara sent some goodies. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this lovely, um, lovely, lovely pocket made from a window envelope. Got it all, got it all. Isn't that so pretty? This is coming up a little bit. I need to repair that. That's probably an in-transit problem, you know, that happens. So little tiny, some little tinies. Oh, these are fun. Giggle, journey, girl talk, couple girl talk tags. 
And then this little B, that'll be, that will be awesome for my B journal. And then she made some tag. Oh, there's a, there's a butterfly too, out of a book page. And some little tags, her jelly plating. She's been jelly plating. Oh, I love this one. That is really neat, Mary. Or Mary, Barbara. I've got Mary on the mind. The whole the whole puppy thing has me a little, a little undone. Okay, so Barbara, you've been... This looks like she um, had a... Maybe had a tag that was like a form or something. And then she jelly printed over it. Oh, those are awesome. Little index card jelly printed and stamped on. And this one painted and stamped. Oh, isn't that cute? She's got a um, pattern on there. Sewing pattern. And then some, um, and some pockets. So she's given me some bases to play with. That's super fun. Thanks, Barbara. You know, I love to do that. And then look at this 1918 Bank of Belfry. At the Bank of Belfry, Montana. I don't know if Belfry still exists, honestly. I'm gonna have to look that up. Oh, that's super cool. Thank you so much. And then some little doilies that are super lacy. Oh, those are really pretty. Can you see how lacy those are? Thank you so much, Barbara. Thank you, thank you. And thank you for your kind note. That's going to be awesome in my um, uh, correspondence journal. Okay, so that was from Barbara. And then this one is from Penny. And... Um, Gosh, she sent all sorts of things. Does she have a letter in here? Um, maybe she just put notes on. Okay. Well, that works. So let's look at this one. My version of one of your friend Carrie's tags he sent you in the 12 days of Gail's birthday. Oh my gosh, look at the bees. That is awesome. That is awesome. Thank you. Oh, so cool. So many people have sent me bee things. I might have to make a bee journal to keep for myself. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Penny. And then Penny bought my, um, gosh, I, I'm pretty sure it was my, uh, imagine, uh, cardboard covered journal that um that I made with the kit from was that from Mixed Media Minnesota I think so oh look at this cuteness look cute little pocket it's got one of Claudia's flowers on it <laughs> oh that kind of tickles me oh so look what she's done with the clusters just putting them on um, coffee dyed Rolodex cards. I love that. Love that idea. And then these are puzzle pieces here. Puzzle pieces that she's put one of Claudia's flowers on. Oh, super cute, Penny. I found password at a local antique mall. Thought you might like to try some out. Cool. I like the shape of these. Isn't that a good shape for in a pocket? Thank you. Those will be fun to play with. We've got a G and an A here. <laughs> so, so I can monogram something. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Let's see. This is from Martha Stewart Punch. I got a couple day, a couple years ago. It's bunnies. Look at all the bunnies. Aren't they cute? And she punched some out of bee paper. Oh, that's super fun. Thank you, Penny. Thank you, thank you. And some G ribbon. There are people who, I, I mean, that, is, that was one of my nicknames at work. One of the gals at work called me G. Well, several of them actually called me G. Oh, a G and an A. So monogrammed ribbon as well. 
Thank you. Thank you, Penny. That's real fun. Be fun to just kind of tuck a G and an A in a journal, wouldn't it? That's really fun. Oh my goodness. Lots of little bags and fun things. Bunny buttons. Those are super cute. And then she's done some stamping of bunny, bunny stamps. Look at these little guys with the fuzzies. Oh, those are awesome. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Too much fun. The bunny stamps are from Lavinia off of Etsy. They are called Woodland Hairs. I stamped them on a strip of vintage dish towel. A couple of bunny buttons I have collected. I like to make ephemera with vintage book book books and pages. Ooh, couldn't hardly say that. <laughs> Broke her heart to fold the piece of paper. Need some Texas paper. Oh, you know I needed Texas paper. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um, the pocket book page corners are from are from this book. Let's go back over here at the pocket. Oh, I see. Here. These are from are from this book. And then this page is from a dictionary of composers. I thought this really cool picture. If you wanted to digitize it, use it however you like. Well, it depends on, you know, what the copyright of the book is. And it doesn't look super, super old. So Probably couldn't digitize it, but it's cool. It's really cool music. Collector's Guide to Paper Dolls. This is the book I got the paper doll pages from. Thought you might like some. Oh my goodness. Yes, aren't those cool? Oh, those are really fun. Really cool. Love the paper dolls. Oh, that's fun. Thank you. Thank you, Penny. Let's see. What's, what's, what's we have here? The music, the music pages are from this book. Oh, these music pages are from this book. Cool. Just some fun pages. Look at this guy. Look at that one. Oh my goodness. And it's all in another language. Oh, very cool. Thank you so much, Penny. Thank you for all the goodies. Okay, I'm going to just kind of set these back on the envelope and get them over here. Thank you so much, Penny. And then, oh, and then I have to show you my friend Mimi sent me a blankie <laughs> and it's got fun words on it hope energy positive thoughts prayer and look at the beautiful color of teal it is she sent it to me because i'm always cold in my craft room <laughs> so thank you mimi for that i love it oh goodness okay mimi and then this one this one was from, oh yeah, Nikki, Nikki. So let me, let me see, let me see. So she sent me a nice letter and, um, and sent her new digital. Woohoo. Okay. We'll definitely, definitely put her Etsy on here. Look at the cute little Christmas pocket she put that in. That's so fun. Okay. Oh, whoops. Yes, Angel Row by Nikki is the name of her shop. So, let's see. Oh my goodness gracious. All righty, let's see. Okay. So I played around with paper and came up with this design. Don't know if it's new, but I like the shape. Oh yeah, this is 
fun and it's a pocket on it's a pocket on this side so you can put that on the edge of a page and have the pocket on that that side cool cool Nikki love it love it Edith Holden coloring book not sure what you can do with it <laughs> Can send you the whole book <laughs> made into ephemera. Loved it. Carrie sent you. Carrie sent the whole book made into ephemera and loved it. She loved it. Oh, yeah. Isn't that so cool? It's her awesome writing. I, I love that writing. So, oh, that's fun. Thank you, Nikki. Oh, and then she sent some autumn things said hope they get there in time well <laughs> probably didn't but that's okay because they'll be in autumn next year oh I love these love 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 these and I have some red ones left but I don't have any of the other colors thank you Nikki I love these and I couldn't find any that size this year so that is awesome I'm all set for next year so I'm going to put that in my autumn bucket of goodies for a boho journal, oh goodness, lovely piece of beaded fabric. Look at that. Isn't that something? Wow. Ooh, that's pretty. It's, it's so heavy from all the beading. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. When thrifting... Oh, she got this when she was thrifting and thought she would share. Let's see. Oh, fun. Uh, some beautiful um, doilies. Oh, isn't that a pretty one? So pretty. Little tulip towel. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Nice find. Look at how cool that is. That's awesome. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you for sharing with me. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Vintage find here. Oh my goodness. Look at these. Oh my goodness. That's really cool. Look at that. And some lace. Thank you. Thank you, Nikki. Look at all these awesome sacks she sent, too. <laughs> you know me, I'm always looking at the wrapping. <laughs> okay, this. Things you taught me how to make. Oh, so she's made some clusters and a tag. Oh, love it. Love it, Nikki. Thank you. Oh, whoops. One little, little cluster hiding in there. Oh, those are adorable. Thank you. That's really so fun. And this is a little pocket, I think. One of those. Or envelope, I think. Oh, so this attaches to the butterfly. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking of using one of these as a template to draw around on paper and make an envelope. That would work, huh? Oh, thanks, Nikki. Oh, goodness. Some beautiful napkins. Look at these. Butterflies. Flowers. Spring flowers. This one's pretty. Pink and teal. Oh, she sent two of those. <laughs> oh, look at this one. Isn't that beautiful? It looks like a tapestry. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, thank you. And then this is like an old Japanese piece of paper. I'm scared to take it out. Or Chinese. I don't know. But it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, Nikki. That is amazing. Oh, I got to show you the one behind it, though, too. Look at these. Oh, it might have been from a book because see, it's got it's got two pieces 
a little string there. It's like someone was practicing their writing. Oh my gosh, that is a treasure. Jeezy peasy. Don't know if I could bring myself to use it. That is so cool. Thank you, Nikki. Holy moly. Okay, get back in there. You need to get back in there so I don't squash you. There we go. There we go. Okay, and then Nikki's latest kit, she said. Okay. Is this botanical architecture. Oh my goodness. Looks awesome, Nikki. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, Nikki, good job. Absolutely stunning. Very nice. Oh my gosh. That is so fun. Look at the architecture. Botanical architecture. Oh, isn't that pretty? So cool. Oh my gosh, love it, Nikki. It's gorgeous. Look at those birdies. That is so cool. Oh, it's just so much fun. Beautiful, Nikki. Thank you. Botanical architecture. Angel Row by Nikki. So that was that was a fun share right there. Okay, I don't need that back in. So I'm gonna put that over there. Thank you so much for everything, Nikki. Oh my goodness. Just Spoiled rotten. I need to put that in my correspondence. Okay. And then last, but certainly not least, we have my friend Carol, who sent a box, a whole box of stuff. So we're going to take a look. Look at the bag of lavender. The box smells, oh, lavender from my small garden. How awesome. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Guys. Wow. Okay, Carol. Well, you might remember me talking about Carol. We were supposed to, we were trying to get together last summer. And then I had surgery and on the COVID and all of that. And so we didn't end up getting to meet, but, um, but Carol just sent this. So let's look at this since it's unwrapped. Look at this big pocket. Handmade by Carol. Oh, isn't that beautiful? She's got one of the padded hearts on it. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. Oh, and there's it's 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 going in my correspondence journal. Uh, yeah, she said she was going to give me this when we met up. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Carol. She said she's been, um, been watching my videos for two years. Oh. I love how she used the tatting there and then the padded heart. That is so cool. Wow. Okay, I'm running out of I'm going to I'm going to put these things back in the box because I'm running out of room. Oh, this is just I wish you guys could smell that. So nice. Oh. Oh, cute. Look at this. True friends are never apart, maybe in distance, but never in heart. It's a fun little um little notepad. Oh, I can so use that by my computer for making making notes. Thank you, Carol. Thank you. Oh, so sweet. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. She made a journal. Oh goodness. Carol. 
are all so nice. Oh, and it's got another padded heart on it. It's so cute. Oh, look at this. Isn't this so cute? A little journaling card. I'm going to put this with it so I know who made this journal. Oh, gosh, this is just gorgeous. Oh, goodness. Oh, journal cover was made for me in the early 1980s to put romance novels in that I used to read. I used Graphics 45 Botanical Tea Paper Pad. I added lace and padded heart to the cover. Eco dyed pages came from Ellen Martin Originals on Etsy. Coffee dyed came from Darkwood Sanctuary on Etsy. Tea dyed and pink pages came from Robin at Nine of Crones on Etsy. She also did the tea dyed music sheets. Most of the tags and journal cards I collage. You'll recognize Caroline's pages and index cards. I found the quilt at Cloth Paper Vintage on Etsy. It had your name all over it. I think that might be over there. <laughs> and could not not get it for you. She had some beautiful needlepoint per pieces I purchased. Oh, thank you, Carol. Jeez. Wow, yep, old Carol Lane right there. <laughs> Wow, this is beautiful. Look at these coffee dyed papers are yummy. And the eco dyeing. God, I wonder how people get those like different colors. I I just get the same color, it seems, on mine. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful journal. Thank you, Carol. Wow. So, so pretty. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Loving the coffee diet. I'm going to have to go to that and the eco diet. Just going to have to check those shops out, aren't we? Mm, it's beautiful, Carol. So pretty. I think I have this paper pad. I think I do. Gosh, the eco dye is just beautiful. And little collage cards. Let's see what this tag looks like. Isn't that cute? That's so cute how she did that like a little label and then she did a decoupage napkin. That's super cute. Oh, there's another one. Is there? Is it stuck? It could be. Oh, it was stuck. <laughs> It happens. Collage card. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Carol. Thank you. I sure wish we could have met up too. Ugh. We're ready for life to be normal, aren't we? Oh, this is so pretty. So pretty. A little lace on the edges. Just beautiful, just beautiful. Oh gosh, and then, so this is the, the bookmark. My first attempt at making this, images upside down. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is so cute though. Oh yes, it's one of those fold-down envelopes that are so much fun. And then she put Caroline's coffee dyed papers or uh, index cards with lace on the edge. Those are awesome. It's awesome, Carol. Isn't it a fun, that's a fun project. We need to revisit that. I haven't made one for a long time. Oh, so much fun so much fun thank you thank you my friend again i sure 
I sure am sorry that we had to, let's see, does this go around one more time? I don't think so. Um, I probably did this all wrong, but I'll tie it up and it'll be fine. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry we weren't able to get together. There we go. Oh, that's so pretty. And that goes in here. And the cover was made for a romance novel. Isn't that fun? In the 80s. I can totally tell from the, the colors, but you definitely, putting the lace and the padded heart on it, definitely just made it 2000s instead of 80s. But 80s is vintage now, you know. So that's awesome. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much, Carol. Thank you. And then this, the last package must be, oh, it's a bunny quilt. Oh, oh my goodness. Are you kidding? That is so much fun. Look at this bunny quilt. Isn't that so cute? It's like, it's like a baby quilt. Oh, that is so cute. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Carol. Thank you for everything, Carol. That was so kind of you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, gosh. Thank you so much, everybody. My goodness. Okay, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. We are going to... I'm going to show you these first. So um, we made our fabric paper. Well, they're nearly dry. This one isn't quite dry, which is why it's curling up a little bit. I let them dry, well, overnight and probably a little bit more. And then I put some heavy books on them because they do tend to curl. But... Um, and this one's only curling because it's still a little bit damp. But, um, so that's what they look like dry. Let me show you the others. We started, we started um, on this one and I finished it up. And so I put, this one's totally dry. So this one's good to go. So I'm just gonna take the plastic wrap off the back. And then, um, yeah, and then we have little birdies, so they will be on the front of the of the cover. I like that one a lot. That one turned out really well. And then I did one more while um, while away from you all. So the other one I did is this one, and it's completely dry too. So I can. It's crazy how long it takes them to dry because I think I'm I'm like nearly a week into this thing, I think. So that is this one and it will be, it will be like that. So, um, and now I just need to see it is, it is about 10 by 13 ish. So I'm going to need to cut some off of this. So, um, just cut it down a bit which will be great. So we might get to that, we might not. But the first thing I wanted to do is, you might remember in this journal, I put this little piece in. And this was an idea from Natasha at Journey of Crafting. And so I thought we'd make a couple of these. I had a viewer request to do that. So um, I'm just gonna put the journal aside. And, and we'll make a few of these um, just to refresh everyone's memory. And I'll put something in the title that can refer to this because that, that was the problem. I made them and I couldn't find, she couldn't find the video and I couldn't either. So really pretty simple. So I have some beautiful paper from uh, HM Creations by V. And so I'm just going to fold it in half, right? And then mine is just glued. Um, you probably could do some sewing on this if you were so inclined. So we're just going to fold it in half, right? 
And then we're going to fold it in half again. Like so. So that's going to make the little booklet. Now we're going to go ahead and glue the top edge of this. I better grab a grab something to glue on here. And I'm going to use my art glitter glue to glue the paper. And then I'll use Fabri-Tac to glue the lace on. Um, we have to pick out some lace, but, but yeah. So it's been three days since I made a video. My son and his family were here for the weekend. Oh, we had such a fabulous time. It was so great. And, um, one of our super fun activities was we were able to watch um, Addie's, Addie's volleyball game, our, my granddaughter. And it was so fun to be with her cousins, my grandkids, and listening to them cheer for her and everything. That was super fun. Um, there's a thing that they, it's called NFHS, and it's like a streaming um, video thing for high school sports and it's awesome because you know they're not allowing spectators so I am going to go ahead and bone fold use the bone folder on that there we go okay so now that is ready you just kind of decide which what which way you want it and so we're going to have pockets in here, right? And then we're going to put on lace so that we have pockets in here too. So I ha I just put little journaling cards from the kit, uh, from the journal that I put this in. So we need to find some lace that's about, what is that? It's about two and a half inches or so. And... Um, I brought my lace over just to kind of, just to kind of see. I like, I like this one for like maybe down below. And you can just honestly just play with your lace and see what looks good to you. Um, and then what else do we have? See, this is a, this is a vintage one see how this looks on the outside that would be kind of fun wouldn't it let's do that on the outside it's, it's lovely to be back in the craft room <laughs> I literally I went all three days that they were here we never I never came down in the craft room usually my grandkids um, want to come down here but you know it was interesting all of them seemed very ready to just hang out and not do anything honestly um so of course my grandkids are doing remote school and um my daughter-in-law's a teacher and my son works for a digital academy which has been as you can imagine completely nuts this year so yeah I think they were all just ready to chill out a little bit <laughs> and so that's what we did we really didn't do much of anything we just hang out we'd um we did some, we played a game on Saturday. That was really fun. We, um, we ate. <laughs> we had lots of good eats. Because we kind of almost did like a Super Bowl party type of thing for Addie's volleyball. We had all sorts of good treats and things we don't normally eat and all that kind of stuff. And so that was super fun. Um and uh so we did that we watched we watched Grease the movie Grease on Saturday night that was that was fun um and 
yeah it was it was great and then they stayed on sunday through watching the bears game because that's my son's favorite football team has been since he was a little boy and uh so we watched the football game and then they left after that so and they came Friday night, so it was a good full weekend, and it was just awesome. And so laid back. Like, on Saturday, I was like, am I going to be able to do this? You know, just hanging out and sitting around and visiting or, you know, <laughs> not doing not doing my thing. And I was able to. I was able to. It actually, I think I needed it, too. Okay, I might have to trim those off just a tiny bit. They're um, maybe a little long for the page. But I just want to see where I want my glue, right about here. So, yeah, so I have, I have been rested and rejuvenated, is what I would say to that. So, it was... It was a great weekend. We walked. We went for several walks. Um, one, all of us went. And then the second walk, it was just my daughter-in-law and my son and I. And that was lovely, too. So, yeah, it was just all in all an awesome, awesome weekend. You know... Spending time with some of your favorite people on the planet is always good, isn't it? <laughs> oh. So yeah, it was it was super fun. Okay, so oops. Got a little got a little glue right there, but that's okay. Okay. So that's good there. I'm gonna trim that slightly. And then we need to find what we want to put as the pockets on the inside, right? So I'll let that dry for a second while I take a little look at what I've got. Um, let's see. Oh, look at this. If you don't, I think I might use this. It's just a little Hobby Lobby lace. But, um... Yeah, if you don't have vintage lace, you can always always go with the Hobby Lobby lace. Okay, and that's about, you know, that's about right. A little over two and a half, but it's about right. So let's let's cut that. Ooh, and that looks great with that the innards. Okay, I'm just going to straighten this a bit. Okay, so I have one more viewer request type of video to do. Um, this one, as I said, was a viewer request of how did you put those together. And um, the other one is slow stitching, do, making those little journal cards. So we'll do that here coming up too. So just cutting them the right the right width. So see how really how easy these are. And then we're just going to literally do three sides with the glue. So we need to start right about there. Of course, this part you would have to do with the paper folded out if you were going to sew it because otherwise you're going to close your pocket right up. But, okay, so we're just going to pop that on the edge. Once again, I'll probably have a little trimming to do. Pop that right on the edge, and then we'll put our three sides of glue on this side. And then those little lace pieces will be a pocket too. Okay. There we go.
And then there you have it. So you have pocket here, pocket here, and then lace on that side. Love it. I'm going to trim this down a little, kind of hang it out. Okay. All right. So I think I want something small across the top there, a small lace of some sort. Oh, what do I have that would be good? Well, maybe this. I guess it's just small. I don't know. I just am not thrilled with that edge, really. So let's use some of this. Yep. Yep. See how that finishes that off? Much, much better. More better. Does it more better? Yep. Yep. Okay. Add a little clip. Did this have a pin in it? Yes, it did. It's right here. All right. So let us get that glue down and then I'll be happy. <laughs> Do too little strings of glue on there. Oop. Hit a bump and <laughs> veered off to the side. Okay, this is the correct way. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, so that is that. How are we on time? Maybe we can make one more. I don't know. We can get started. Let's just get started and see. Isn't this paper so pretty? So, so pretty. I don't want to use it. Okay, so we will middle here. These are wonderful things to just kind of make up and have on hand. And then, like I say, it worked perfect for the um, digital journal cards that were with the kit. So that, that worked just great. that. Let's see. Let me turn the other way to my other, other cart here. Let's see what we might have for laces. This would be pretty on the top. I love this lace anyway. I think this would be pretty on the top. Yeah. Um, hmm. look at this. This is some vintage lace that might be kind of fun. I mean, that might be fun just all by itself, right? Oh, I like that. I think I'm just going to put that right across the middle, just all by itself. Okay, well, so much for you. You don't get to be used this time. Um, yeah, oh, I have this too, which could be really pretty. I'm thinking, since I'm going to do a shabby chic, Would it be too much to have this on the outside and this on the inside? Because this would work great on the inside, too, as the pockets. Oh, I like it better on the outside. Okay, I think I'm going to use that. 
And this can be from my shabby chic journal. I'll get done one of these days. <laughs> it is weird after being um, out of the craft room for three days. I feel like, oh my gosh, I've got to do this and I've got to do that. And you know, it's kind of funny. I do like the idea of that for this though. Kind of gonna have to remember that little piece. Okay. So, let's fold this. Oh, let's do this first. Okay. And then fold it again. And then we will kind of be thinking here to there. Let me just get a start on this so that I know where it is I'm gluing. Okay. trim off this edge and make it straighter so that, but that's fine oh, I like that okay that's very fun I'm just gonna cut this off and that makes a decent snippet so I'm gonna throw that down there all right so what do we want on the inside then what about about something like this just some white lace yeah I think that's what we'll do yep okay so now theoretically I could just lay that other piece of lace let me get this on its side so I don't have to wait so long for it to come down so these are pretty quick to make. You know, the longest part for me is just deciding which lace to use. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Let's, but yeah, that'll be, that'll be pretty. Okay, I'm going to go right there. And we're going to go our three sides again. Right. I'm excited about this because I'm trying to make some stuff ahead of time that will go with the, um, let's call it shabby cottage or something. Shabby something. Okay. So there we go. There's another one. All made up and ready for the ephemera box. I love these, though. They are, um, I just think they're super pretty. It was a great idea, Natasha. I don't know, I guess, for sure that it was Natasha's idea originally, but she's she's who, she gave me one, and that's that's who I learned how to make them from. So now we have this one. Looks like it need to get, just get a skosh off this edge too. There we go. So we have this one and we have this one. Love them, love them. And now I need to put this back into the journal. <laughs> So once again, thank you so much to 
Barbara, Penny, Mimi, Nikki, Carol, um, Crystal, and Mary. Um, very, very fun, very fun Happy Mail Day. So thanks, everybody, so much for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being my pals. And we'll just see you in the next video. Thanks, everybody. Have a grateful day. Bye.